Well, there you have it, Packer Nation. They signed a free agent. What's going on, everybody? This is Jake with Pac-Man Sports, back with another video. First of all, I would like to be able to welcome the new subscribers who have just recently subscribed to the channel. Now, onto the big piece of news that the Green Bay Packers just re-signed Kevin King to a one-year deal worth up to $6 million. Who saw this coming? Goody, you're the worst general manager ever! No! Warning, warning. Packer fan knee-jerk reaction alert. Okay, in all seriousness, Kevin King hasn't been that bad of a player. The problem with Kevin has being able to stay healthy when he has been in and out with injuries and playing with injuries probably has, has hampered Kevin from being able to play at 100%. And people tend to forget that back in 2019, Kevin had a really, really good year. And I thought that Kevin was a very, very good number two corner. I think that the Packers are, this, this is a good signing in my opinion. I kind of thought that maybe it might be a little bit of a slight overpay, but a one-year deal worth up to $6 million is not too bad. So it's kind of a good thing. This will probably be some motivation for Kevin to probably have a possibility to uh, get, back to, get back up to par from his 2019 year after having a down year in 2020 where it was filled with injuries and some mishaps. So what this, ha what this helps for the Packers going forward for future decision making is we got our number two cornerback back. Now, Kevin, I think, is probably not going to be the future number two. I am I am certainly all for the Packers drafting a corner really early in the first two rounds, preferably. So I am not going to shy away from the Packers signing a cornerback in the NFL draft really early. We have the same cornerback tandem, Jair and Kevin being, being able to play outside again and Chandon Sullivan returning on a one-year tender also uh, solidifies the nickel cornerback spot. But if the Packers were to draft a cornerback early again, that'll give the Packers a good number four to develop behind those guys and possibly push Chandon for the nickel cornerback spot. That's a pretty, pretty, big, pretty big possibility for the Packers. And if this cornerback, whether it be Greg Newsome, Asante Samuel, or possibly Caleb Farley, depending if he drops or if the Packers trade up for somebody, that could push Kevin down to number three. And whereas the rookie could take over the number two spot, depending on how things go in camp, but it wouldn't surprise me if the Packers decide to back off going for a corner and instead opting for probably an interior defensive lineman. That would be a very, very good option for the Packers in this upcoming draft is to probably just get a running mate for Kenny Clark. The, this, uh, this defense really sorely needs a 3-4 defensive end bad. Cornerback, not so much anymore because we have Kevin back. It'll be a really interesting to see how things play out for the remainder of free agency up until the NFL draft. Until then, I will catch you guys later. Go Pack Go!